Hello MA2 users, this is Spencer at ACT Lighting. This video is going to show you how to use the temp fader assignment in order to control the color mix ability of your LEDs using the physical position of the executor fader. This is going to be a two-step process. We're going to first create a queue that has the fixtures at full but has the color at zero. That way, our faders will give the LEDs their color information instead of their default 100%. So I've put zero into all the RGBs, and now I'm going to store this to a queue, to an executor. And I'm going to have that go. Okay, the second step is to tell an executor what it's going to be controlling. So I want this executor fader to control red, this one to control green, and this one to control blue. So how do I do that? I have my fixture selected, I click on red, I tell it to be at max, and then I have to tell green and blue to release because I only want to control red. So I'll go into green, I'll choose release, I'll go into blue, and I'll choose release. Now I'm ready to store this to an executor. Okay, once we have our queue stored, we're going to go into the assign window by clicking on the title bar of the executor. In here we have our virtual representation of the executor. Here's executor button 1, here's the executor fader, here's executor button 2, and button 3. So I'm going to go in here and click on the executor button for the fader, and I'm going to see a drop-down window of the selecta selectable functions for this fader. In the list you'll find temp fader. I'm also going to label this executor red. Finally, I'm going to save these default options so I don't have to continuously change this fader assignment to temp fader. And then we do that by clicking the save default sequence assignment. Great. Let's do the same for green. So I'm releasing red, have 100% for green, and releasing blue. Store here, go into the assign window, and label green. Notice that temp fader is already assigned to the fader. And finally, rinse and repeat for blue. Blue's max, green is release, red is release. Store here, please. Label a blue. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's see how this worked. Clear out. I have my queue running that says, hey, you guys, I want you to be at 100% dimmer, but no color information because I am going to give you the color information depending on the position of my fader. So say I want like a, a dark aqua. I can use the position of my faders to determine the color of my LEDs. So this is one great use for the temp fader. There are many others. Um, but please feel free to check out support at our website ACT Lighting. It has many more tips and tricks. If you have any additional questions feel free to contact us at support at ACTLighting.com. Happy programming users!